Hey huns! So I filmed this tutorial on this rainbow smoky eye right here. The focus for this look is really on the eyes. So we've gone soft with the skin, nude with the lip to keep all that attention on the eyes. I think this is really cute. If you want to see how I create this look, just keep watching. To create a smooth tacky base, we're going to go in the Glossy Priming Moisturiser. And then I'm going to use the Glossier Birthday Balm.com lip balm to prep the lips. For an eyeshadow base, I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base in the shade Rumour 2. I'm using a small fluffy brush just to pat this into the lid. This base is ideal for really colourful look as it is super tacky and really holds on to the eyeshadow. For today's rainbow look, we're going to use the Colourpop Rainbow Eyeshadow Palette. I'm going to start with the red shade and pat that into place. I'm going to do the same with the orange. And then go in with the yellow. Each colour I'm packing it into place and blending it into the next. I'm not too worried about the edges at this point, I'm just concentrating on the lid and the crease. And then mirroring all the same colours on the lower lash line. Each time I place a colour, I'm making sure that I'm going back into the next colour and blending the two together. I've got a separate brush for each colour so that the colours don't get muddy. Here I'm focusing on the edges, really trying to diffuse that harsh line. I've got very little product in my brush at this point and I'm using really soft pressure. Starting on the next eye, I'm literally repeating all the same steps. I'm going to start with the inner corner this time, just to make sure I'm using the right colours. Because I didn't set the base, it is still very tacky, making it ideal to just pack on the shadows. This is going to allow me to get the best colour payoff. Again, after placing the colours, I'm just blending it into the next one. I find cool toned colours harder to blend, so I'm taking a little extra time on this side just to make sure the colours are blending into one another. And then of course mirroring everything on the lower lash line. Because I've got a different colour for each shade, I'm able to keep going back in with the same brushes and really concentrate on my blending. To create some definition, I'm going to go in with this NYX Jet Black Eye Pencil in my lower lash line and I'm just smudging that out with a flat brush. I'm 
Going in with a clean fluffy brush, I'm going to blend down the edges on both sides. I'm using a different brush for each side. Going in with the NYX matte liquid liner, I'm just creating a really fierce cat eye flick. This is just going to create a little bit more drama for the look. I start with the outside wings, making sure they're even on both sides, and then build onto the lid. This brush tip applicator is really easy to use. It allows you to have loads of control, making it amazing for beginners. Just going to use some micellar water on a cotton round just clean up the eyeshadow that has gone a little bit lower than we wanted it to. For mascara, I'm going to use the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. This formula is so nice, it really stays in place and doesn't transfer. For lashes, I'm going to go in Cult Lashes in the style T06. These are super wispy and a little bit spiky, so we'll still be able to see the eyeshadow look through the lashes. As always, I've trimmed these to the length of my eye, popped some glue on, allowed it to go tacky, placed it on the lash line, and just securing the edges with some tweezers. Also pushing it up, just to set them in the right place. To start off the complexion, I'm going to go with this Colourpop No Filter Foundation. I'm using a damp Morphe sponge just to pat this into the skin. Using a sponge allows you to get really even coverage without making your face too cakey. I love the shape of this sponge. Once wet, it becomes really large, so you can cover your full face really, really easily. You can also pinch it to get right into those small spaces. For concealer, I'm going to use L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer in the shade Vanilla. This is going to really brighten the face. I'm using this in the centre of my face just to create some really nice high points. Because I have quite a round face, I keep all this highlight to the centre. I'm going to use that same Morphe sponge just to blend out all this concealer. I always part rather than rub just to make sure I'm not moving any product. To set the concealer, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. I'm just going to use this on a domed soft brush, just to set where I've put that concealer. To blend out the edges of the eyeshadow, I'm just going to go in with a small dome brush and just pat out the edges. For bronzer, I'm going in with my favourite Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. I'm just using this on the perimeter of my face to build up the contour. This is going to balance out the light concealer that we use in the centre of our face. I'm also going to contour out my double chin that I've gained from eating everything in the fridge during lockdown. For blush we're going to go in with the Butter Blush in Rosy Pink. It's going to add a really nice neutral colour to the skin. We obviously don't want to distract from the eyes. For glow, I'm going to start with the Huda Beauty Winter Highlighting Palette. I'm going to go in with this pink Winter Rose shade just to really create a nice soft glow. To amp up the highlight, I'm going to go in with the Mother of Pearl Highlighter from Topshop Beauty. This formula is so iridescent and glowy, really holographic, to add a little bit more colour to the skin. For brows, we're going to go in with the Morphe Clear Brow Gel, just to hold the hairs in place. Hey. 
to add some definition and fill in the sparse areas, I'm going to use the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Java. To create hair like strokes, I'm using soft pressure and short movement. For lips we're going to go with my fave pinky nude sheet. I'm going to create this by starting off with the NYX suede lip pencil in whipped caviar. I'm going to outline my lips just slightly, trying to create a little bit more definition. I'm then going to go with the MAC collaboration with Jamie Genevieve. This lipstick is a really nice neutral tone and the mixture of the two is going to create a really nice soft pink shade. To add a little something to the eye, I'm going to go with the Peaches and Cream Pigment in the shade Mermaids. This is really nice loose glitter and I'm just picking this up on a small blending brush and dabbing it in the inner corner. And then I'm going to go with some setting spray to lock this all in. Okay huns, this is the finished result. I hope you like this look. Please leave a comment like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one.